Last season, the Crestview Knights went through the Van Wert sectional to the Elida District and Bowling Green Regional en route to an undefeated state championship season. If they repeat this year, it will take a similar path. Jeremy Best's team is the second seed in the Elida District. Knights take the first round bye and will play the winner of Lipsick and Fort Jennings in the early game on Friday the 6th in Van Wert. The rest of that bracket shapes up with St. John's and Corey Rawson at 6:15 on Wednesday the 4th, followed by Lincoln View against Pandora Gilboa. The top seed in that district, Miller City. Wildcats will play at Ottawa Glendorf sectional against the winner of Temple Christian and Ottoville. Macomb and Kaleida, the eighth seed, will play in the late game on Tuesday night, with the winner advancing to take on Columbus Grove in the sectional final. Also in Division 4, the Kansas District, Arcadia is the Eastwood sectional. They play the BVC rival North Baltimore on Wednesday in the late game at Eastwood. Winner plays the winner of Toledo, Christian, and Mohawk. And Van Loo is in the Faustoria sectional. They open on the third against St. Wendelin. Winner has the top seed Gibbonsburg on Thursday. Andy has more on the Elida District. We're back again. Jeremy Best, a yearly ritual here as we get ready for the district. But first, some regular season action to, to deal with for your team. You've got lots of uh, great games coming up. Bluffton uh, this week. It starts it off. That's probably yeah. where your focus is. But an NWC title is still very much uh, a possibility for you guys. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, I, I, we feel good about the, the situation that our kids are in, and to be going into uh, you know two remaining regular season games in reference to the conference, and to still have a shot, and control your own destiny. Uh, I'm pleased with where we are, and you know we, we know we have a long ways to go, but um, <clears throat> I, I think it's 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 good for our kids, and and I know that. Um, I think that they're really happy with where they are and you know, keep going. You guys get the two seed. We were talking yeah. a little earlier. Yeah. One through eight or nine could have really gone anywhere. This is a very even and deep district, it seems. A lot of balance. There was a lot of a lot of scenarios, I think, that went into the voting. Um, you know, the coaches had, had some tough decisions to make. There's a lot of we beat them, but yet <laughs> they beat us. And there's a lot of those things that went on. So, and when you throw now 13 teams in the mix, mm -hmm. it really made the dynamics of, of the seeding and then where you put yourself on the bracket interesting. Um, you know, I, I don't know if it's good or bad. I guess we'll find <laughs> out as, as they play this new format out. But, you know, as a two seed, you know, your advantage is you get the bye. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to go opposite the one. Um, but I think, you know, you take your advantage of getting the bye and, and and you wait and see who you get. What, what's interesting was brought up on uh, Twitter uh, a little bit earlier today. Some of the Southwest District teams don't take that by. They, they play, you know, one of the lower seeded teams. Yeah. They get into the action right away. Here in the Northwest District, it seems that by is something you guys covet. Yeah, I think so. And, and I think it, it, it possibly could be done a little different. I think there's more teams that there are, are seeded. Yes. And, and I'm not so sure that the higher seed doesn't match up with the lower seed uh, in their seed. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but. I think if you get the buy, um, you know, tradition speaks, you, you take it. And, mm -hmm. I, and most coaches do around here. Um, you get a chance to, to go and scout and, you know, you, you play 22 game schedule. That's a lot of games. You know, we're going to play four games in a, in a seven or eight day stretch to finish out our year. So to not have to play again that following Tuesday or Wednesday is nice. You can play on that following Friday. Your team's 12 and six. Four of the losses have come against one seeds. Another one against a two seed, and then Delphi St. John's, who very easily could have right. been a, a two seed as well. So those losses are quality losses. Have you learned about your team in those scenarios? Oh, I think we, we, we've learned as much, you know, in some of our wins as we have in our losses. You sure. know, I mean, our schedule has been very, very sound. We play mm -hmm. a lot of good basketball teams, as a lot of teams in this area do. You yeah. don't, you just, you can't run away from good teams. Uh, you have to schedule. You, know, you got to <laughs> schedule somebody. But our, our you know, our, I would stack our schedule up with anybody and. You know, you look at Salina on there right. and, and Delphi St. John's and Lima Central Catholic. So we've played a lot of really good teams. We've competed in those games. Um, we need to get one of those games. You know, we, we, yeah. we, need, we need to beat one of those really good opponents. And maybe we will save that uh, for the next four games here to finish out the year and get hot again in the tournament. All right, Jeremy Best, thanks for stopping by.